Next thing I know, she tells me that she wishes the baby was mine and hers, and she kisses me on the lips. Back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to give her a story titled, My Stepdaughter, 24, Just Made a Pass at Me, and I Have No Idea What to Do Now. And guys, this story is just like what you hear in the title. This is exactly that. This guy, his stepdaughter, made a pass at him. You're going to see here, just out of the blue, said uh, how she felt about him and kissed him. You want to talk about awkward. And I kid you not, guys, to me, when I first saw this article, it sounded like something out of an adult film. But as I've lived on this planet 44 years and have seen and heard a lot, believe me, truth is truly stranger than fiction. So, guys, I'm going to get into this story here. You're going to see how this thing plays out and how it ends. And it starts off, he says, uh, let me start with the backstory. I met my wife 14 years ago while she was going through a messy divorce. Six months after after. Six months after the divorce was final, and I met her son, now 27 years old, and her daughter. And I, and I have no kids of my own. I never thought I liked kids in general, but her kids became the exception, and I do not think I could care more about them if, as if, if they were my own. They have different fathers, and both of them are physically and emotionally abusive to their kids and my wife. None of us have had any contact with either of their fathers for almost 10 years. My... Uh, Stepson is married to a great girl with two kids of their own, and I'm incredibly proud of him, and we talk often. My stepdaughter, I'm very proud of her as well, but she has had a few more problems arise. She's still my favorite girl, and I would more move heaven and earth for her, but she tends to choose more men like her father, cowardly and weak man-child. I was always there for her, and we could talk about anything, and other than her choice in men, our personalities were very similar. How interesting that he says, uh, his wife, that both the kids are from different fathers, and now she's with him. This guy's obviously a good guy, but this sounds like the guy, the, okay, I'm going to find a nice guy now type of thing, you know, because, you know, baby daddy number one didn't work, baby daddy number two didn't work, so I'm going to pick the nice guy here. And no surprise, the daughter of his, uh, his, his wife chooses guys like her father. Imagine that. So four months ago, after breaking up with the latest a-hole, she moved back in with us. A month after that, we found out that she was pregnant. She is now five months pregnant. I work from home. My wife does not. This means my stepdaughter spends a lot of time with me, and I also drive her to doctor's appointments and maternity clothes shopping, which is what we were doing today. I drove her to my. I drove her to Bye 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 or Bye Bye Baby, and we did some baby and uh, new mother shopping. On the way home, she talked to me about all the crappy texts that a-hole had sent her over the weekend, saying how she'd be a horrible mother and how his baby would be better off if she did herself, in, etc., etc. And yes, I've decided he and I need to have a conversation, much like the conversation I had with my stepdaughter's father 10 years ago. When we got home, we sat in the driveway and I, con I comforted her, gave her lots of positive affirmation, and told her how useless of an a-hole he was. Next thing I know, she tells me, that she wishes the baby was mine and hers, and she kisses me on the lips. WTF. Well, he most certainly was not expecting that one there. Imagine that for you fathers. They have stepdaughters, and all of a sudden she planted one on you. Again, truth is stranger than fiction. He says, I pulled away and mumbled something about not ruining a good thing. How I love her mom. I made a bad joke about being with a pretty woman in her 20s who probably kill me. For the next two hours, I was basically on autopilot, put stuff away, made dinner for the three of us after my wife got home, and I'd been in my dent for the last four hours claiming I was working, but I have no freaking clue what to do. What should I tell my wife? What should I tell my stepdaughter? Should I say anything to either of them? Should I just finish off this bottle of Captain Morgan and pass out? Look, there isn't something I can go to a friend or relative about, so I'm coming here. I need some thoughts. Here are people. Well, dude, uh, you're pretty much damned if you do, damned if you don't. That's what I think, because you keep it quiet, it's going to get out. And you're going to be damned there. And then you imagine going to your wife or speaking to the girl about that, fireworks. But if you have to do it, better you go to your wife first. And, and, and as diplomatically as possible, you tell her what happened. But even then, it's going to be some fireworks there. I mean, just, this is again, this is like something out of an adult film. Now he provides an update with everything that happens here. 
It says, it's been a couple of days since my post, and this is what has gone down. I received a lot of good advice, and my initial reaction, rug sweep and hope, I saw this, I saw it was not the right way to go. That was, that was based on fear, and once I recognized my cowardice, I was able to see what was the right thing to do. To me, the question was, do I talk to, with my stepdaughter or my wife? A lot of people said go directly to my wife before my stepdaughter could change the story, and I understand the reasoning. You're darn right. Now, it sounds like the stepdaughter didn't have a good thing going. Hopefully, she wouldn't be the type that would do that, but you never know. But once I started thinking and not just feeling and reacting, I couldn't do that. My stepdaughter deserved to be heard. I've loved her like a daughter for almost 15 years, and she's always been a young woman deserving of my respect, except for her choices in boyfriends. Well, that's pretty much every father, I think, nowadays. At first, she blamed the hormones, but I just raised my eyebrows, like, really, you're going to go there? But after a minute, she finally told me the truth, I think. She told me that she'd been in love with me since she was a teenager, and it was the only reason that she left home after graduating high school. She thought uh, she had gotten over me, but every time she came home to visit, she moved a few states away, she would realize how terrible her boyfriends were and how she still loved me. Oh, my God. Again, like an adult film. And I'm sure some of you guys are probably like me, wondering, hmm, I wonder what she looked like. Around six months ago, she came to visit us for a week and brought the future baby daddy with her. I hated him. He was obviously doing hard drugs and was making a career from gaming. And by career, I mean spoon, uh, sponging off others at the age of 30 while popping pills and snorting H. Sounds like a real winner. She left here and dumped him about a month after that. At this point in her narrative, I was understanding her problem, um, unrequited love, forbidden desire, etc., etc., and I do think she embellished some of the problems. I told her that I didn't mean she should go for it with me. Well, not that this hasn't happened in history before, but again, this is we're in, as I like to say, Sodom and Gomorrah 2.0 world, so none of this shit surprises me. There is nothing that I have read or stories, guys, that surprises me anymore. Nothing. When she came back, she saw that my wife and I had started sleeping in separate rooms. I'm a restless sleeper and wake with a pins drops, and she snores really loud. When we found out about the baby, we planned to use that room I was using as a nursery, and I moved back into the bedroom. She thought that her chance to be with me was ending and decided that that day was her day to make the move. And in her effed up thinking, she thought I would just move into her, into her room instead of my wife's, and we would just all live together. She knew the second I pulled away from her that she was wrong and that she effed up. She told me how sorry she was, and let's just, and let's just say she's convinced, convinced me she felt bad. I told her I was going to talk to her mother, but she needed to know this could never happen again. Uh, what she wanted would destroy everything I care about, and that included her, and I would not let that happen. Now, some people would say, oh, she's hormonal, pregnant, all that, the wrong guys, blah, 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 but... He said here, she, she, she claimed that she's had the hots for him, been in love with him since she was a teenager, blah, blah, blah. Maybe that was the case, but nothing surprises me. When my wife came home, I let her know we needed to talk together with me telling her what had happened. Can you imagine being the fly on the wall of that conversation? She knew something was up since she didn't see either of us that night, but she figured with my stepdaughter, I had an argument or we just need some space. He says, not uncommon for either of us. For a minute, she just stared at me and then said she would have expected this 10 years ago, but thought daughter had grown the F up by this time. I was flabbergasted. He says, what are you talking about? I asked, and she told me that my stepdaughter had a crush on me back then. Good Lord, so the mother knows. I told her that that was crazy, and she claimed it was obvious. And I've always been oblivious to how women flirt with me. He says, she is nuts. People are just nice around me. She told me we should talk about we should have a talk about our daughter together, but first she wants to talk alone with her. How funny is that? The mother knew all along that the girl had the hots for him. And the, the father was totally oblivious to the stepfather, totally oblivious to this. Cause that's the last thing he would think about. You know, a lot of guys are oblivious. Let's let's be honest here. But something like that, you even if you're not oblivious, you're just like, no, 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 no way my stepdaughter has the hots for me. About an hour later, my wife asked me to join them. And I did, and the following is what I what was decided. My daughter will be going to therapy. I'm still allowed in the birthing room, uh, 
Stepdaughter is fully clothed in common areas of the house, i.e. no more skimpy shorts or just a bra for a top. No pointing out to me how her breasts are getting bigger. And he put in parentheses, by the way, I didn't know that was a flirting thing. I just thought she was shared pregnancy information. My wife could be worried about me being oblivious. And my wife trusts me to inform her if stepdaughter gets out of line. <clears throat> if the stepdaughter Fs up again, she'll be staying with her brother and we will be telling him why. So that's it. Thank you so many for your great your great advice and so on and so forth. So there you go, guys. It's a quick one. But again, to show you that uh, truth is truly stranger than fiction, you can't make this shit up. Okay, and again, this is like something out of an adult film. So... That guy, I mean, just the, the daughter needs to go. It's just going to make things work because her feelings aren't going to go off like that. Not at all. And just, you know, it's interesting when a guy marries someone else, another woman who has kids, not to mention from multiple dads, and the, the bullshit and drama that can go into his life. In some situations, girl can go well, blah, 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 but I've heard a lot of crazy stories. But just look at this ridiculous drama. <laughs> I had a laugh when I saw it. I'm sure many of you guys are laughing right now. But, uh, you know, and again, it's back in my mind thinking, what does this daughter look like? Is she hot? But anyhow, yeah, best uh, he keeps his distance from her. And I sure as hell hope that she de doesn't ever, like, I, because she feels rejected, accuse him of something. That would be the worst. But you just never know, you know? But uh, that girl needs to go. Go live with her brother. Go live with somebody else. That's just going to be more problems. And unfortunately, I don't see any updates. It's a news story, so I'll be keeping an eye out for updates on that one because we be definitely good one to come back to. But all right, guys, that is it for today. Quick one. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know, guys, if you've known anybody that ever had a situation like this with a stepdaughter or step somebody. I'd like to hear about it. Definitely be entertaining. And if you've got any great stories you'd like to share, whether it's personal or also um, – Anything you come across, by all means, email to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. That's the name of my other channel. You should check it out if you don't follow me there. And guys, also, be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.